So the final race then on Trials Day 1 is a two and a half mile hurdle and the top one is Whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry living the moment for Dee Hooley Licks now for Darren Thompson Farest Ting David Robertson Sphinx Walker Derek Hinton Shameful Junkie Craig Allen Prince B Kevin Meenahan Sindar Ryan Costello Corrigal Jim Murray Rosie Joshua Sutherland My Kind of Night Leon Van Rensburg Amber Flash Martin Leedham Unattached Paul Rhodes Siram Pontypool Racing, that's Graham Clutterbuck, and Suka Emerald was the bottom one for Ryan Tarasibi, and they're already off and racing, and Sphinx Walker is the first one to show, but living the moment is being driven up to challenge, and so too is Whenever Dragoon, Suka Emerald is also close up as well, they sort of themselves out as they get to the first of these minuscule flights of hurdles, and living the moment is the leader by about three parts of a length, to Sphinx Walker in second, Suka Emerald has settled down in third, and Whenever Dragoon is fourth, my kind of night is just about heading the main pack, as they take the second and uh, live in the moment is in front from Sphinx Walker and Suker Emerald and whenever Dragoon that's the leading four there's a gap of a couple of lengths then to my kind of knight and Corrigal who is next shameful junkie the grey as they get over that one they don't attach a link law far as Ting is after that one Rosie's in with division and towards the back Siram is just about in shot and is the back marker Cinder in those purple colours is just in front of that one as they take the fourth and the different shade of purple in the lead for live in the moment and live in the moment in the lead then with sphinx walker is second super emerald third whenever dragoon fourth my kind of knight fifth and then shameful junkie and corrigan and then prince b and then unattached and then rosie and lixnor they've passed the winning post then and they're swinging out for one more circuit of the track the rain continues to fall at chipstow trials day one is almost at an end it's been Pretty successful for one or two people, namely Craig Allen, one or two new names have had some good runs as well. Whether they're new names or returners from many years ago, I don't know. But it's living the moment in the lead for D. Hooley, whether that's a new chap or a old chap, I don't know. But you've got my uh, you've got my silks on, so I've changed mine this season. And we're still going to have a few clashes because I've got a few that are coming back in those colours. So be interested and living the moment is in the lead going better than mine do at the moment so it's nice to see those purple colours in the lead whether it's my horse or not so Sphinx Walker is in second Sue Cremel is third whenever Dragoon is next as they take the fifth and they're all safely over that one although Siram gave it a little bit of a wallop at the back and appears to be struggling as they take the sixth that's the midway point in the jumping and they're already past midway point in the racing then now as they've got less than a mile and a quarter to go and they come down to the seventh and over that one they go and they're all safely over that one as well with Siram out of shot and struggling amber flash the greys also dropped towards the back doesn't appear to like the rain that one and living the moment is in the lead sphinx walker is second and sucre emerald is third whenever dragoon is four and incorrigal is five and my kind of night and shameful junkies after that rosie and licks nor also trying to get into it as they take flight number eight with amber flash and cinder at the back of the ones we can see saram is well out of shot and hopelessly detached but it's living the moment who's still in the lead at the moment from sphinx walker in second then Sucre emerald is third whenever dragoon is after that one shameful drunky the gray is trying to get a bit closer corrigal for jim murray on the inside rosie's next then my kind of night and far is ting licks nor still trying to get into it unattached is also creeping a little bit closer prince b being pushed along gap back then to cinder and amber flash and a bigger gap to siram but now sphinx walker's just about headed living the moment so sphinx walker takes it up for Derek hinton sphinx walker's in the lead living the moment is second Super Emerald still going well between the two of them in third. Then on the outside, look at this one on the outside. Run attached going through with a big looking run then now as they come down towards the final four furlongs. And also Shameful Junkie over the night they go. Just three more flights to take then now. And it's living the moment who's given away the lead now to Shameful Junkie. Shameful Junkie and unattached. Rosie's now throwing down a big challenge. Also wider on the track is Licks Nor over the tenth they go. That's the third from home. Maybe the ground's better closest to us because Shameful Junkie's gone on. Rosie's trying to fight on in second though, but it could be another one for Craig Allen, it's Shameful Junkie down in the second last, skips over it nicely in the lead Rosie's second, Lixnor trying to run on in third, so is my kind of night, racing down towards the final flight, Shameful Junkie is in the lead, two lengths clear racing towards the final flight, then in the final trials day race on trials day one and Shameful Junkie is two clear skips over the final flight, Rosie's second, Lixnor's next, trying to run on his my kind of night, Rosie's trying to fight back, Shameful Junkie's got nothing left, here comes Rosie close up, and Rosie's beginning to get up, and Rosie's going to take it 
racing up towards the line. Rosie pulls away, wins it by two lengths through Shameful Junkie second. Mike Wine and Wright was third, then Licks North Forest tings after that one. Big gap back at the end to Amber Flash, Saram and Sindar, who never got into it at all, really. But that's the second race where Joshua Sutherland's won it on the running. And that one powered plush, shameful junkie who looked all over the winner, but had nothing left in the final half furlong or so. So Rosie takes it for Joshua Sutherland, shameful junkie for Craig Allen second. My kind of night for Little Van Rensburg was third. Lixnor for Darren Thompson fourth, and Corrigal for Jim Murray was fifth. Nice to see Jim Murray back, and that's your Trials Day one. Not sure when Trials Day two is, but I'm sure it won't be too far away.